Okay, welcome back to Cooking with Care. Uh, this is an episode requested by a whole bunch of people having to do with avocados. T Sue's taught me a way to always have the perfect avocado in the house if I plan ahead a little bit. And th that's the number one tip is you have to plan ahead. You can't expect to go to the grocery store on the morning of the Super Bowl, for example, and come home with five avocados and make guacamole. You might be able to do it if you bought 20. You might get five good ones out of 20. Uh, and the reason is, in the grocery store, if the avocado is ripe, it's been handled by a bunch of people. And there are people who are avocado pokers and pinchers who do an awful lot of damage to avocados as they ripen. So you don't want ripe avocados from the grocery store. The odds that they're damaged is very, very high. What you really want is as green and hard an avocado as you can find. And one of the ways to minimize the poking and the prodding is to buy them in a bag. For some reason, people don't poke and prod the ones in the bags. Now, I have the advantage of being six feet tall and having long arms. So what I do is I go to Costco, or these were actually bought at Sam's Club, and I find the display, and I find the least accessible part of the display, and I reach all the way in the back, and then I take any that look like they've been moved and I move those out of the way and I take a bag out that ideally has never before been touched by human hands. Okay, that's the bag I want to bring home. And these are the ones that then go onto the countertop until they ripen. And once they ripen, they go into the refrigerator and from the, day, the minute that they're ripe, they're ready to use and they stay ready to use for over a week in most cases. These are 12 days old and I'm about to find out whether they're uh, still good. I haven't checked on any of them. We're going to be eating guacamole today, so I'm opening this one up. An easy uh, call. These are 12 days old now. They were three days getting ripe, and then they've been in the refrigerator about nine. So I'm cutting into one for the first time. Now, there is a phenomenon that has been showing up in emergency rooms across the nation. It's called avocado hand, and it's because people unaccustomed to dealing with knives, unaccustomed to dealing with avocados, have been slipping off the avocado and cutting their hands, or they've been trying to get the uh, pit out and cutting their hands. If there's any risk of that, these cut-proof gloves are available from restaurant supplies. I haven't tried ordering them online. I'll bet you you can get one on Amazon as well. But these are gloves that are designed to uh, protect you like armor on your hands uh, to protect you against knives. I've cut thousands of avocados open and never hurt myself. This could be the first, I don't know. But one of the tricks that I do is I make sure that I get through the skin to start the cut and then just work my way around the equator of the avocado and twist it open. Look at that. It is soft, it is buttery, and there's not a single brown spot in there. And then I do take the a knife and use it to remove the pit. This is the most important tool for handling avocados that we've ever found, and that is a spatula that has a very, very thin edge on it. This is a rubber spatula, small in size, good size handle, but the blade is very, very fine. It's almost like a knife blade, and it slides right between the skin of the avocado and the flesh of the avocado, and it pops the avocado right on out. Man, this is beautiful. This avocado is absolutely perfect. Okay, so once you get to this stage, the problem you'll have is that as soon as you expose the avocado to air, it starts to oxidize. There's an enzyme in it that will oxidize rapidly and it turns a brownish, blackish color. Now that's unappealing to look at, but it's really, there's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't even affect the taste very much. So you could eat it, uh, even though it turns color, but People don't like things that turn color, especially when they look all brown and blotchy. So the other secret is pure ascorbic acid. This is vitamin C in pure crystalline form. This is a one pound bag that was expensive, but I think it's about a lifetime supply. You'll never need to buy it again if you buy a bag. A little bit of this, and I'm using an eighth of a teaspoon, mixed into an avocado and I'm gonna mash this one up uh, before I put it away. But if you mix that in, mash it around, and then take a piece of plastic wrap and press it down to uh, evacuate all of the air and have the plastic wrap in contact with the mashed avocado. 
so that you're displacing as much air as possible. Once you've mashed the avocado with the vitamin C in it and pressed the plastic down tight to eliminate any air in the container, you can put this container in the refrigerator for about another week. We, we forgot one that we put in there and I didn't think it would last that long, but about a week later, it was still green and fresh looking. So that's the lesson on avocados. Buy them in advance, get ones that haven't been manhandled uh, or woman handled, it's more often. Uh, so get the, the green hard ones, bring them home, ripen them on the counter. It might take a day, it might take three days for them to ripen up. Once they're ripe, you test by just pushing on the end a little bit, put them in the refrigerator. They're going to be good for another week to 10 days. Uh, if you get towards the end of that time period, you want to stretch it out further, cut them up, mash them, add a little bit of vitamin C powder. Now it's important that you get the pure ascorbic acid. There are several different forms of vitamin C. The other forms may not do the job. You want pure ascorbic acid. A uh, little li lime or lemon juice will help as well. But again, you're getting, uh, you're getting the acid plus the antioxidants, and it's the antioxidants that are really doing the job here. Uh, and so you could conceivably have you know, mashed avocado either in this form or in this form for two weeks by purchasing them once. Enjoy.